Hey guys, I actually want to show you an AI tool called Test Sprite. One of my fellow developers recommended it to me and I've actually used it myself. The main reason to use this tool is its model context protocol, which completely automates your app testing with just one prompt. For example, I have this app, basically a simple library management system, but it has quite a lot of APIs. I've already opened the code in cursor. First, I'll run the app. Next, we'll test it using Test Sprite. So first, we'll go to their documentation page, and under the installation section, you'll find options for cursor and other IDEs. There's a link there. When you click it, it will ask you to open cursor, and then you'll land on a page where everything is already filled in. Now we need an API key. For that, we have to create a Test Sprite account. After that, go back to the same page, open the Test Sprite dashboard, sign in, and create an API key. After entering the API name, copy it and paste it into cursor. Then we'll install it. After installation, Test Sprite's MCP tools will become available. Now we'll use these tools to test our app. For that, I'll give a prompt to Cursor's AI Assistant and keep all the settings default, then send the prompt. After that, it will take us to a page where we can fill out the test configs the way we want. Here, you can choose the mode, backend or frontend, and select the scope, code base, or code diff. This allows you to provide the entire project or only the changes made to the code. You can also add the desired port, choose the route you want to test, and so on. Ultimately, you must upload a product description file. I've already prepared one for my project, so I'll upload it and then continue, which will take me back to Cursor, and let Test Sprite do its thing. It read my project, bootstrapped the code, generated a code summary, created a back-end test plan, and then generated 10 tests, and it's running all of them. It's still running, and running. Wait a sec, I'll just speed up things. At the end, you can see how many tests passed and which ones failed. It also generates a report for all of them, and you can view each test details one by one. For example, when I check the report of an endpoint, I can see everything in detail along with the code. If I had tested the front end, I would have also gotten a visualization in the form of a video. One downside is that it gives only 150 credits by default, which is okay just for trying it out. But right now, in the Test Sprite starter plan, they're giving 400 free credits for the first month. Anyway, it's your choice. Try it out and let me know in the comments. I'll leave now and I'll see you in the next video.